I'm gonna s quick save, right? And then. Insane! You can't expect us to. Two large pepperoni in a calzone. Name is Fuck You. So right before I joined up with Porter Gage, I was actually with Minuteman Preston, my boy, my home dog, and he said I was making a big mistake by uh, siding with uh, Porter Gage here. So it looks like he's finally on to us, but I wonder if he knows just what's going on. So we're here at Safari Adventure, and we got not a death claw. No, no, no. It's completely different. It's a gator claw. It's so different, guys. It's not even the same enemy at all. It's a totally different enemy. It's so different. Look how different it is. The movements, the design, it's different. Different. Hey, buddy. Lady, see to see you kill monster. You friend. No time for this attack. Pause. I did do this mission before on YouTube. It's there. I did do this mission before, but I skipped to the end because I thought Cito's voice was annoying and I got dislikes for it. So we'll play it out this time. Let me guess. You were raised by apes. Not no apes. Cito only no family. Hmm. You kill monster alone. Monster strong. But you stronger. Indeed. Sito happy you kill monster. Monster hurt Sito and Sito family. Mm. I have a bad feeling you're gonna ask me to kill more. You good guesser. Sito kill monster. New monster come. Sito kill monster again. New monster come again. Monsters not stop. Help Sito stop monsters? That depends. What are you offering in return? New friend make monsters stop. Okay. Sito promise shiny thing give new friend. Okay. Help Sito. Sounds good to me. Might be a legendary item. It is a legendary item. Of course. I'll help. Sito happy you help. New friend follow Sito. Sito have story. Story helps stop monsters. Okay. Sito eat with family. Wrinkly man come inside home. Wrinkly man hurt. Sito try help. Wrinkly man say he make monsters. Okay. Sito mad at wrinkly man. Monsters hurt family. Wrinkly man sorry monsters hurt family. He gives Sito shiny thing. He say shiny thing help Sito stop monsters. Sito try help more, but Wrinkly Man die. Damn. Sito put Wrinkly Man in ground, but keep shiny thing. Now give shiny thing new friend. Help Sito. This is Dr. Darren McDermott, last mm. known survivor. <laughs> At the Safari Adventure <coughs> Replication Facility. This is my final recording. I've done something horrible. <coughs> the thing I created, the thing I called the Gator Claw, <coughs> they must be destroyed. Mm -hmm. They can't be tamed, they can't be controlled. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Their sheer ferocity is like nothing I've ever seen. And that's why they keep coming. Somebody, anybody, find my passcode or Dr. Hines. <coughs> Shut down the replicator before it's <coughs> before it's too late. And if this recording should reach Dr. Hines, please tell him to forgive me. If you're reading this note, then you've met Marco Cito. His father, Marcos, was killed in a super mutant attack on our settlement. 
and I'm afraid my own wounds will be taking me as well. I don't have much time, and I'm afraid to send him out into this world alone. But I don't have any choice. I'm begging you to please take him in and see that he gets the food and shelter he'll need in order to survive. Tell our little Cito that his parents love him and that if he's looking for us, we'll always be inside his heart. Cito's mother, Emilda. Mm -mm -mm. His mama died. Damn. Both parents died. So he said he walked and walked and walked and he found this place. Seems like his mom brought him here, but he doesn't remember. And that's probably why he talks the way he does, because he's probably got some sort of brain damage or something. Dead man have important thing. See to see wrinkly man come from big triangle house long time ago. Okay. Go to big triangle house. Find cloning facility. Stop monsters. See to come with new friend. See to help. All right. Can one of the gorillas help? Can you get your family to help us? Chris, big and strong. Chris, help new friend and Sito. <laughs> we have tried doing this the nice way and you haven't played along. You even went so far as to ban us from your parks. Well, sir, this is a free country despite what you corporate fat cats think. AFAD is going to show you. You don't have the control you thought your money buys you. You have or we have your top scientist, Dr. Heim, held hostage right where you plan to build your precious angry anaconda. Come alone and we can discuss the terms of your of his release. Bring the police and you lose your star employee. Forty-seven B and fifty-three L. I assume forty-seven B is the one we need to read. This is Doctor Terra McDermott, last known survivor at the Safari Adventure Replication Facility. Continue with my personal recording. It's been hell. I don't know how long it's been. I think I stopped counting months ago, mm. or was it years? Mm. Even with the scientific equipment at my disposal. Going back from what I've become. The radiation from the bombs has taken its toll on my body. He is becoming a ghoul. Forming my physical appearance. But instead of falling into despair, I've embraced the change and used it as a basis for my new cloning research. Mm -hmm. Perhaps this curse will turn out to be a blessing. I just wish Dr. Hyde was here to guide my hand. I feel lost without him. Mm -hmm. I've been continuing to modify the Nukagen replicator to provide a source of food. It's ironic that the very same device Nuka World was using to create its animal specimens for leisure has become integral to my survival. Using a tissue sample from a cow, I was able to replicate a viable clone, consume it as food, then use the remaining tissue to create another. Mm. So 
So he's definitely, definitely a ghoul at this point. And we're definitely about to have one hell of a battle. Sito. New friend done? No more monsters? There will always be other monsters. But you've seen the last of the ones that were here. Sito not worry. New friend teach Sito be strong. Teach Sito be brave. How Sito thank new friend? I have some friends moving in here. But if you play it cool, we can all get along. Can you do that? Sito trust you. Sito like more new friends. Before go, here, new friend take. The better shiny thing Sito say. Sito want to give. Thank you, new friend. Sito always remember you. I might come back and kill you with the same bat, but that was, uh, kind of fun. I like the lore a little bit more now that I'm a bit more tolerant of the way people talk. I don't know, I used to get annoyed by that and that's why I kind of skipped through it the first time I did it. I think this is the last journal entry. This is Dr. Darren McDermott, last known survivor at the Safari Adventure Replication Facility. Mm -hmm. Continuing my personal recording. I ventured outside today and almost got spotted by a group of wasteland scavengers that had wandered into Safari Adventure. My own better judgment. I'm going to attempt to splice in you the more dangerous samples I left in cold storage. I need to use the new gen replicator to create some sort of specimen that's formidable, yet trainable. Something that can protect me. But most importantly, protect this facility. It will take some time to work out the chemistry and mathematics of the data, but I'm confident I can create a viable specimen with him. I know Dr. Hine would have objected to this course of action, but he is near, and I can't let this equipment fall into the wrong hands. Mm. So I think he made uh, the albino get a claw to stay inside the facility and sort of protect everything that's here once he's gone. And then he realized, I guess it was a mistake, and he created all these things, and now it's killing the people who come here to try to live, like Cito. So he's like, oh man, you know, I'm sorry, Cito, about your family and all that. Yeah, I think it's just talking about the albino guy. But hey, maybe Cito is one. But I doubt it. I doubt it. It's probably just the albino Gator Claw. Anyways, let's go over to Old. So Old Longfellow and Gage had no reaction at all, like interaction, I mean. So we're just gonna go ahead and just uh, head to the Mariner. Mariner, the hull took the battery. To sure, she wouldn't be standing at all weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. The only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, beside Captain Amber. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. Mm. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Hold up! 
I've been casing those ghouls for weeks. We keep on opening, and they dive in, and choppy chop, bang, bang, and the whole lot of them. And you even know what you got right there? A premium set of Pelman's power tools. I remember commercials for Pelman's tools. Expensive stuff, but top of the line. What the hell's a commercial? Wait, it don't matter. Mariner sent you, didn't she? Mm hmm Goddamn Mitch and his big mouth. No matter what she's offering, it's nothing. Serious builders will give an arm for them tools. I'll pay you 2,000 caps right here, right now. That's Milton. nothing compared to what I got. Tools in condition like this, they're positively unique. Maybe I should auction them off someplace. Mm. Twenty-seven fifty. Say yes now before I change my mind. I'll pass on the offer. I ain't hanging around forever. Walk away from this, you'll regret it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could just kill him and take the money, but whenever you do that, somehow the mariner knows. It's like literally impossible for her to know. But she knows somehow. And even if you don't bring old Longfellow with you. Since she still knows. So, whatever, I guess. You buy my tools yet? Here are your tools. A fair bit of luck running into you. Here's your reward. Well earned. And now to work on the hull. So, as some of you might be aware, doing the uh, Mirror missions, you actually have to go back and do other missions. So, if at any point I'm like referencing stuff that you haven't seen on the screen, which I tried to make sure I edited out most of it, but uh, for the most part, edited? I, I don't know. Every time I say it, I think I'm saying it wrong. But, anyways. Um, we have to do the captain's dance, as you see here. We had to basically drop meat in the water and it would summon some Mylurks of different varieties. The Mylurk King, the Mylurk Hunter, Blood Rage Mylurk, you know, Raise a Claw, Kill Claw, etc. All that stuff, and then you fight the Queen, and then uh, you have someone here from Far Harbor to watch you do everything. By the way, when you return, you actually learn that uh, Mainlander seems to be some sort of slur or some of some kind, some sort of insult. So. When you're talking to the doctor, he goes, he like says, oh, you're one of us now, main, and he says person instead. And it's like, so Mainlander is dehumanizing? Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, it seems so subtle and so regular and it makes a lot of sense. It's like saying uh, Vault Dweller or like saying, uh, oh, you're from the Commonwealth or something like that. But now it seems like it's, uh, it's just demeaning, which is weird because even after, you know, you learn that, other characters still call you mainlander even the captain calls you mainlander it's like so I, I wonder what it means is it just simply dehumanizing is it not dehumanizing and the doctor has a different interpretation i don't even know what's up mariner those tools you found are a joy to work with it gave me this idea uh -huh. a cargo freighter founded ages ago to the south with a bit of arc welding and some elbow grease, the hull mm -hmm. could be reinforced to be sturdy. Fierce. Best to do it soon. Before. Well, soon. You got it. One cargo freighter coming up. I'd say be careful. But after that captain's dance, how about have fun? <laughs> Ships the MS Azalea. Expect trappers. Mean ones. Once you mop the decks with them, I'll send my crew over. Best of luck. The MS Azalea is good to go. I'll send the work crew over. 
And once we haul a piece of the ship here, the hull will be a sight to see. All right. Mainlander, I got yeah. one last idea. Wait a minute, don't call me that. Than a box of rad rookies. That hasn't stopped you before. Hull's got plenty of stopping power now. But if a Meyer Lurk Queen went for a frontal assault, I'd like to help if I can. I had a feeling I could count on you. Bigger walls can beat the whole mass velocity force issue. Mm -hmm. The bigger problem is acid. Only thing I've ever seen survive a queen's acid are other Meyer Lurks. The Meyer Lurks on our islands have carapaces that are extra tough. Mm -hmm. So you gather up a bunch of the carapaces, lug them back in. Then I'll reinforce the town as best as I may be. Meyer Lurk carapaces? Got it. Best of luck to you. So later. I'm going to basically say that, uh, or at the end, I'm going to basically talk about what we're going to do for the next episode. But the episode after the next episode, I actually want to do an episode focusing on Nick Valentine again, but not really on him. It's just going to be us solving different mysteries and stuff, whether it be in the Commonwealth or whether it be in uh, Far Harbor, you know, wherever it may be, we're just going to do some more uh, mystery solving, I suppose. Um, I just, I like the idea of doing like an ace detective kind of thing with him. So we're going to do an episode kind of dedicated to that. And then maybe later we'll shift back over and uh, do another one if there is more mysteries to do. And I, I know there's a lot already. So, But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video so far. And if you made it this far and if you're at this specific point right here, this specific part listening to my voice, you should definitely hit the like button. Cutting carapaces is a dirty job. The pay will be worth it. I got your Meyer Lurk carapaces. Finally. It's done. Everything that can be welded, duct taped, or super glued to the damn docks, all there. Feels nice. like I can finally sit a spell and relax. <sighs> Take this. It's well earned. So, what are you planning next? It's been far too long since I've taken to the sea. It calls me, but that's for another day, Mainlander. You ever get a gnawing in your belly to do something? Crazy. Mm -hmm. The reason and sense keep steering you clear. The craziest ideas are usually the best. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold and the unbalanced, right? You're the only mainlander I'd ever tell of this. So hear me out. The Red Death. You may have heard of it. The big monster lives beneath the waves, only strikes when the fog is thick. People think it's some drunken sailor's tale, but no one goes sailing when there's a fog on. In their bones, they know there's something out there. Mm -hmm. I suppose the Red Death could exist. Good. Open mind. With my business here done, and knowing someone like yourself, I seek to end this unholy terror. Dozens of boats over the long years been claimed by it. I mean to hunt this Red Death. Are you with me? Count me in. Bring whatever weapons of death and mass destruction you got. Meet by the docks. You take your boat, I'll take mine. This trip is going to test our metal more than anything. I heard about this expedition of yours. We need you. Please, turn back. The whole strong, and one more rival won't make a difference. Mainlander, if the Red Death's real, we can't afford to lose you both. Consider your warning delivered. If there's nothing I can say, good luck. It can't be. You gotta be kidding. That's the Red Death? I think we can handle it! <laughs> we could always fall in the Marines! <laughs> oh. Ha ha. What do we say to all the folk back home? If we tell them the truth, we'll be a laughing stock. Would it really be that big of a deal? You've no idea how pig headed and relentless harbor men can be. Or maybe you do. The story will be told for generations. Maybe we embellish a little, or a lot. Make it the stuff of legends. I have little stomach for it. But it's better than the alternative. 
Let's go. I thought... I got this for you. Celebrate. I didn't think it would turn out like this. Legend of the Harbor. Vanquish the Red Death. Don't make me kill it. Look at it. Look at it. Why are its eyes so bright? Yo. Little dude. Alright, man. They want me to kill you. I'm sorry about this. Can I interact with it? I don't even want to use a gun. Look at it. It's so adorable. Oh, shit! It was fighting back for a second. Now it's running away. Where are you going? I thought I was going to one-shot it. Sure, you were sailing to your graves. Here's to the heroes. What is not all my kids ain't gonna believe a whole lot of us are too. Well, all right. Is that your loved ones with my I guess we did it. I don't even know what freaking Mariner said because the other lady was talking over. But we completed the great hunt. So we finished with old Longfellow, we finished with Porter Gage for now. So now we're gonna go back into the Commonwealth. And we're going to do the main missions.